I'm screaming into this microphone with no distortion. Nice. This is the best wireless microphone that you can buy. It's the Rode Wireless Pro. I absolutely love it. And these are the 16 things that you need to know. The first thing you need to know is the price. It is more expensive than a lot of the other wireless microphone options out there, but this mic is totally worth it. And this is the wireless pro kit. So you're going to get your two transmitters and your one receiver. You're also going to get two lavalier microphones that sound amazing. And that all comes in this bundle for $399. For 400 bucks, I love that they included the lav mics with their system. And you'll notice right now it might be picking up a little bit of wind. So it comes with wind muffs and these are actually really good on the lavalier microphone so you can go outside, you can shoot your videos and still have the audio sound amazing without any wind disrupting the audio. The Rode Wireless Pro also has a great charging case and this is a great feature to have. I love this on the DJI microphones and so for Rode to make their own where you can have the case charge all of your stuff at once is super nice. Now comparing the case of the Rode microphones to the DJI wireless microphones, I actually like the Rode ones a little bit better. The Rode I think is a bit more rugged and it has the zip feature whereas the DJI kind of just swings open versus actually being able to lock that case up with the zipper is a nice touch. Now on the receiver, you have an output where you can plug this into a camera or into a smartphone, but it also doubles as a headphone jack. So for example, we could record directly on these microphones and then we could listen back on that receiver. We just want to be able to pull that into a camera if we were doing that. A nice little touch they added to these microphones as well is the plug in power connect. So when you turn on your camera, your microphone is going to turn on. And when you turn off your camera, it is then going to turn off that receiver as well. And this just helps to extend the battery life on these microphones. Another pro level feature that they implemented with this microphone is the screw in mic jack. So with their lavaliers, you can just twist this a few times and this is gonna lock into the actual microphone so it's not gonna get pulled out accidentally. So one of the really cool things I loved about the DJI wireless mic was that you could clip it onto your shirt. You weren't left to just clip it up here and in return that gave you a lot better audio. Now Rode decided to do the same exact thing. So in your bundle, you're gonna get this metal frame with this Rode logo on here and you can slide this right onto the clip and then you're going to get the magnet where you can use this to actually connect it to your shirt to your jacket sweatshirt whatever it is you're trying to connect this to and that makes it really cool now i wish that the mount wasn't plastic i wish that the mount actually was just metal in general instead of having to put on this metal piece every single time i want to clip this onto my shirt the reason this is just a little bit annoying is because when you're putting it into the actual interview microphone handheld system you have to take that metal sleeve off in order for it to slide into that but besides that i love that this feature is here and it's super handy i'm so glad that they brought it to this microphone now this is what it sounds like on the handheld mic adapter and this is a really cool setup it costs 29 dollars and we'll have a link down in the description for this but this could come really in handy for a lot of the portable interviews that we do at think media when we're doing podcasts with people at events this honestly might be the best portable podcast microphone setup that you can get and it sounds amazing Another thing you need to know about the Rode Wireless Pro is that they have an app that you download onto your computer called Rode Connect. When the app is installed, you can plug in a transmitter to your computer or just even plug in the entire charging case and all of it's gonna connect to that computer. You can do your firmware updates. You can also change different settings in there. For example, if you want your microphone to just automatically start using a backup recording, when you turn it on, you have the option to do that inside of the app. You can also change things like the Rode button if you want to make that a mute button or if you want to make it a marker or you can just turn it off and then in there you can export your audio in different settings if you want to export it as 32-bit float recordings all those options are going to be inside of that app another big thing that was introduced with this setup is time code syncing i'm usually shooting youtube videos these days so i'm not using this feature a ton but if you are someone who is in the videography business and shooting commercials films short films this is something that is super awesome and you probably are going to use a ton now this microphone actually has the best range distance on any Rode wireless microphone, which is 850 feet. We'll see if it actually can go that far and still connect to the camera. 0.04 miles, which is already, I'm like so far away from my camera. I'm at 0.1 miles. I am so far away from the camera. You probably can't even see me at all. This is like two baseball fields that you can walk away from your camera and still have audio picked up 
which is absolutely insane. At the end of the day, I am never going to use it that far away from my actual camera, but it's nice to know that actually it could connect as long as I was visible to the actual receiver. This microphone also has onboard recording, so you can just press record on the transmitter. When you hit record, you're gonna have up to 40 hours of recording. This is a must have feature when it comes to wireless microphones, because sometimes when you're recording onto your camera, it's gonna glitch out and kind of drop out and you're gonna lose some of that audio. And so having that backup file is a must. For a lot of us, we are gonna use this with a camera or a smartphone where it's actually going and recording onto the video file on our camera. And they have this thing called Called the gain assist technology that actually is really really good this microphone is insane because it actually doesn't clip so when you're too loud sometimes on a microphone it sounds crazy distorted but with this microphone that is almost impossible to do now the reason they're able to do this is because this microphone has 32-bit float recording no matter how loud or how quiet you are you can bring it up and it's still gonna sound great i'm screaming into this microphone with no distortion Nice. Now the best part about this is that you don't really need to set levels. Everything can just stay on automatic settings and it's gonna sound really good and you don't have to worry about clipping. If you're a video shooter, imagine this kind of as like raw video. You can change all of the settings later. You can recover your highlights and the same goes here with this audio. You can just recover everything later and it's still gonna sound amazing. Now you have the options to go in there and manually adjust the settings, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to do this because of how good this gain assist technology is. Now, even though it does an amazing job, they still have a safety recording feature where basically it's going to record one of your channels. You have your left channel and your right channel. One of those is going to record a bit quieter. So if you are really loud, it is for sure not going to peak. And so it still is nice to have the option there, especially if you are filming something like a wedding or something very special where you really need to make sure you get it right, it's nice to have that peace of mind. And at the end of the day, that makes this so easy to use. So if you're just getting started in audio, you don't wanna mess around with a bunch of settings, you can trust that this microphone is going to do the job for you and it's gonna sound good and it's not gonna ruin your audio. Now, lastly, and the most important thing about a microphone review is just hearing how this microphone sounds. And right now you're listening to the Rode Wireless Pro, which I've been using this entire time. And previously my favorite wireless microphone was the DJI wireless mic. And so I wanna compare this microphone with that one so you guys can hear which one sounds better. This is an audio comparison of the DJI wireless microphone versus the Rode Wireless Pro. And when it comes down to getting a microphone, a lot of us use these microphones just like this, where we clip it onto a shirt, we might hold it like this or use it in some fashion where we're using the onboard microphones because they just sound really, really good. But which one sounds better? I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you a Rode fan or do you think the DJI sounds a bit better? Let me know. Now this microphone set is pricey at $399, but honestly, this is such a great investment that I think is going to last you for so long if you get something like this. Not only do I love the audio quality you get from this and all of the features and how it's so easy to use and not clip your audio, everything's just set to automatic. But on top of that, there's so many different use cases that I can actually use these microphones for. Whether I'm shooting content on my phone or if I just wanna clip something onto my shirt and record on the go, I have that option as well. So for me, I believe this is the best wireless microphone you can buy right now, but not everyone wants their audio capturing device inside of their shot. Sometimes you want to place it outside of your shot. And if you wanna find the best shotgun microphone, then click on the screen and watch that video. And we'll see you guys in the next video.